Hi, this is Jade Barbie. Welcome to the EFT for Writer's Block course. This is Lesson 1, the Constricted Breathing Exercise. So, in order to give you an experience of EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques, and to help you understand how the stress that you're carrying or your response to what's going on out here, to some of your thinking, is showing up in your body and how you have the power to change that response. Um, I'm going to demonstrate this exercise and uh, I hope that you'll tap along with me and get a benefit for yourself so you can start to fill in the dots around how EFT might be something useful for you to use um, as a creative tool in your life. So uh, let's get started. I hope you like the unicorn hat. Um, I figured because we're loose and free and, and artistic here, it's okay to be a little more casual. Um, then I don't have to worry about my hair. So uh, to get this exercise going, the first thing we need to do is sort of check in with the energy of what we're working on. And, and all I really want you to do is to tune into your breathing. It's as simple as that. Um, right now I want you to bring some attention to your breath. And I want you to take a deep breath as deep as you can. And now um, what I'd like you to do is to rate that tension in your breathing, any constriction or tightness, any way in which you're not able to take like the, the fullest breath you've ever taken. I'd like you to rate that on a scale of zero to 10. So zero would be completely free breathing and uh, 10 would be uh, totally constricted or blocked or um, tense. So I'm gonna ask you to breathe in deeply one more time and this time go ahead and rate that uh, the level of constriction in your breathing between 0 and 10. So try it again at your own pace. I'm going to give mine about a 7. Definitely could be breathing more easily. Had a big day today. So how about you? What's that level of constriction in your breathing? Okay. Now we're going to apply some EFT, and to, to do EFT, the, the way I'm going to show you is to tap on the inside of your hand, and it doesn't matter which hand, but that fleshy part of the hand, and you're going to use all of your fingertips plus your thumb, and uh, just hold it right up to your chest like this. You can hold it against your chest, that's fine, or uh, hold it out in front of you. And uh, the first thing we always do is we bring attention to what we're, we want to work with. And right now we're just working on that tightness, that constriction in our breathing. So, uh, repeat after me. Even though I have this constricted breathing, and then I want you to say something affirmative and we're just going to use the phrase, it's okay. So, repeat after me. Even though I have this constricted breathing, It's okay. One more time. Even though I still have this constricted breathing, it's okay. And we'll tap on the eyebrow point. This constricted breathing. Side of the eye. This constricted breathing. Under the eye. This constricted breathing. Under the nose, this constricted breathing. Chin point. This constricted breathing. Collarbone point. This constricted breathing. Under the arm, this constricted breathing. Gamut spot right here, this constricted breathing. And top of the head, this constricted breathing. All right. Now take a deep breath again. Measure that breath, zero to ten. Zero, free flowing, ten, totally constricted. What's that number now? And 
In what ways might you be feeling a little bit different? Already I'm feeling a little different, a little looser, a little bit more excited about this video. And uh, so that should be a clue to that doing this work can free you up a little bit and get you more um, excited, a little bit more um, uh, freewheeling, a little bit more creative, a little bit more spontaneous, and uh, open the doors for you creatively. So we're going to apply one more round of EFT to this uh, constricted breathing, and we're going to see what that's like for you. And I'm going to throw a few more words in for you to repeat after me. Even though I still have some of this constricted breathing, especially when I think about my writing, it's okay. I'm okay anyway. Even though I still have some of this constricted breathing, especially when I think about my relationship with my writing, it's okay. Even though I still have some of this constricted breathing, especially when I think about my relationship to writing, it's okay. I'm okay anyway. Eyebrow point. This constricted breathing. Side of the eye. This constricted breathing. Under the eye. This constricted breathing. Under the nose. This constriction in my breathing. Chin point. This constriction in my breathing. Collarbone point, this constriction in my breathing. Under the arm, this constriction in my breathing. Gamut spot, this constriction in my breathing, especially when I think about writing. And top of the head, this constriction in my breathing. All right, take a deep breath now. And measure that level of constriction now. Notice what has changed for you. So for tonight, what I'd like you to do is do this constricted breathing exercise twice for yourself. I've included a link to a PDF you can use to apply EFT, pretty much exactly the way we've done it today. And of course I'd like you to read the course page for Lesson 1 if you're someone who's signed up for the course. And uh, think about how this might apply to your creative journey, how this might be useful as a tool. In the next lessons, we're going to give you a really good idea of how you can uh, really change your perspective, change the way you feel, um, allow your frustrations to melt away using this method, and uh, really open up your creativity. So I want to thank you for joining me. And we'll see you again on Lesson 2.